It's time for another one of our favorite segments, The, the Great, Great Debate. Debate. We love debating with you guys and with each other sometimes. That's right. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we, and it's always all in good fun. Of course. Uh, we, we, I think we always play by the be respectful rules, of you course. know, it's not... It's not necessarily formal debate material here no. on The Great Debate, but no. um, we, we do take your, your opinions on the matter seriously. We do. I love when you guys comment on Facebook especially because sometimes some of you get a little spicy. I love it. In the comments. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So today we're talking Christmas. Yes. Uh, holiday season. Re-gifting. Ooh. Controversial. <laughs> and we're talking, do you re-gift? Have you re-gifted? What do you think? Is it the worst? Do you love to do it? We have a lot of opinions. First, I want to get your opinion um, on it. So I'm not a re-gifter. Okay. I, I mean, if I've been re-gifted mm -hmm. before, I wouldn't know it. It was okay. never obvious to me. Nobody re-gifted me something that I had given them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, wait, didn't I? And honestly, right. sometimes I do have the memory of a goldfish. So I'd be like, oh, wow, new right. to me. Who knew? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I think we've talked about it before a little bit that I do think mm -hmm. gift giving is a little bit of my love language. Yeah. Whether it is something handmade or something that I've found for someone. Like I do put a lot of thought and effort into either creating or finding something that I think someone's going to really enjoy. You do, definitely. So like to me, re-gifting is not fun. Okay, fair. Like I, I have fun finding gifts for people. Yeah. It's not stressful to me. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. It's it's the thrill of the hunt. Yeah. And regifting kind of takes that out of it for me. So no, that so makes sense. I'm not a regifter. Okay. Would I be offended if somebody regifted something they got and gave mm -hmm. it to me? No, I don't think so. Again, yeah. if I didn't know. Okay. Who cares? That's fair. Uh, I think as long as it's not done maliciously. Because I think it can be. And that's what like, people may or may not necessarily, because uh, we, we were talking about this before recording this yeah. on the show today. Like our, our just our Coast Life team was talking about it downstairs. And I was like, well, it can be malicious. Somebody was like, malicious. And I was <laughs> like, well, yeah, it can be. Yeah. Like if you intentionally didn't think of somebody, mm -hmm. And you were just like, last minute, okay, well, let me just give them this, like, right. clearly used item. Like, that I f that feels worse than just not getting something at all. Um, so as long as it's not used, it's not gross, it's not opened, mm -hmm. I don't have too much of a problem with it. But I want to see what you guys said. We have yes. some comments on Facebook. Yes, we do. Uh, John said, uh, don't think it's a too god-awful idea, you okay. know, besides sometimes people could use things more than you. True. Which I get that, and and I, I'm 100% okay with yeah. that. Uh, Carl Carl actually sent us an article uh, about the sort of do's and don'ts of re-gifting. Oh. Some interesting stuff in there, and I think they're sort of saying the similar stuff that we did. That yeah. Like, I think your things like candles, your socks, like, maybe more trinkety gifts, although I don't yeah. even know that that's really, like, trinkets, but... Um, your sort of home decor gifts, maybe if it's not your right. taste, or maybe it's just not, like, it's not going to go with anything. And, and it depends on the gift giver, too. Like, if you know the person who gave you something is going to make a stink about it, if they show up to your house mm -hmm. and they're like, where's that Santa Claus I got you? Oh, yeah. And then you're like, that's always awkward. Someone else. Um, yeah. That's probably, like, is it more or less hassle to just hold on to it and pull yeah. it out when that person comes over? Yeah, when Aunt Cheryl's on her way. Right. Yeah. No, that's a good know. point. Yeah, as long as long as it's not personally picked out for you so well, made with love, yeah. I don't see the big yeah. deal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Uh, we have as long as it's done tastefully, I think it's yeah. fine. Okay. No need to waste a quality item someone else may enjoy yep. or have a need for, but Agreed. thoughtful consideration should be taken. I think ensuring that an item doesn't recirculate back to the giver, rewrapping, repackaging, for example, like all of that kind of stuff. But, nice. Okay, so I think um, I think all of Delmarva. That, that watches kind of Coast Life. A, we're on a similar page here today with, uh, with re-gifting. So okay. I think, yeah, like, you know, candles, especially if, I feel like sometimes too, if you tell somebody that like you like something, then you get an excess of that thing. If you're like, oh yeah, I love snowmen. I think they're so cute. Then like everybody Ooh, in your life yeah. is giving you snowmen. You're going to have an excess of yes. snowmen that you don't necessarily need. So mm -hmm. like maybe in a pinch you re-gift one of those. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think just as yeah, like I think we're all on the same page. Make it make it simple, make it clean, and be careful. So, yes. happy and and careful regifting season, you guys. Yes, just thoughtful regifting. <laughs> please, please, please. If you have an awkward regifting story, like a oh. horror story, begging you to share it with us. I want. Please do. If you regifted like your mother-in-law's favorite <laughs> plate back to her or something crazy, we want to hear it yes, so bad. Please, yes. team at coastlife.com. Yes. We love hearing from you. Yes, definitely. But, uh, we do have a little more Coast Life to get to, so we're going to be right back.